Hello, here we're looking at a slice of liver and I'm going to just turn this around so that you can look at the opposite surface. Inspecting this grossly, we can see that the pathology is kind of diffusely involving the entire liver. Uh, one of the first points of decision that we must make um, is to decide whether the pathology is a diffuse one, as it is in this case, or is it a localized one? Localized meaning in the form of a mass or a nodule or a cavity or a cyst. So in this instance, we don't see any discrete or localized lesions and therefore this is a diffuse pathological process. There are two things that are abnormal in this liver. First of all, the liver is enlarged. It is quite difficult to really appreciate the size looking at this specimen. However, there is a clue because if you look at the usually sharp points or the edges, they're a little bit more blunted here. And this gives a hint that the liver is enlarged. And the other gross abnormality is the colour. The liver is rather pale and it's difficult to appreciate it very well here, but in the fresher specimen it would actually appear a little bit yellowish. So this is an example of fatty liver, fatty change or steatosis in the liver. And let's have a quick look at the pathogenesis of this, which leads back to lipid metabolism. The liver is a very important and major organ in lipid metabolism in the body. So what happens is that free fatty acids uh, from food and also from peripheral tissues, they are delivered to the hepatocytes. And in the hepatocytes, they undergo esterification to form triglycerides. It is actually the accumulation of triglycerides that is seen in fatty liver. The triglycerides can in turn get metabolized into cholesterol and phospholipids and they can also combine with proteins known as apoproteins to exit the hepatocytes in the form of lipoproteins. So there are several things that can go wrong along this pathway that can give rise to accumulation of triglycerides in the liver cells. If uh, there is a state of starvation or diabetes, this actually increases the mobilization of fat and therefore increases the delivery of free fatty acids to the liver. And certain toxins, uh, such as alcohol, can give rise to a net result of increased esterification of fatty acids and therefore accumulation of triglycerides. And one other important cause is protein malnutrition because this gives rise to decreased synthesis of proteins and therefore apoproteins. And hence the triglycerides become trapped in the liver cells. They are unable to exit in the form of lipoproteins. So these are just some of the examples of causes of fatty change in the liver where there is accumulation of triglycerides in hepatocytes. What do we actually see under the microscope? So here is a low power picture and uh, you can see that there are a lot of these rounded whitish uh, spaces. These are actually empty spaces which originally contained the lipids and they are washed out by solvents during the processing of microscopic slides. But for example, if you look at uh, this particular cell here, this entire round globule is a lipid vacuole and it has in fact actually squashed the nucleus of the hepatocyte to a little slit over here. And in some cells, you can actually see the nucleus a little bit better. For example, in this one, you can still see the lipid, but you can see the nucleus of the hepatocyte. These are not adipocytes, they are actually hepatocytes. Hence, in summary, we are looking at a specimen of an enlarged, pale, somewhat yellowish liver, and this is an example of fatty change or fatty liver, also known as steatosis. Um, the liver function can actually be maintained in this condition until a point where there is too much injury to hepatocytes and sometimes there is an inflammatory component that is known as steatohepatitis. This can eventually lead to destruction of hepatocytes and cirrhosis. In this particular case of fatty liver, there is no evidence of cirrhosis, so the patient may actually not present with any symptoms, but if we were to palpate the abdomen, we would be able to feel an enlarged liver.